There is no way that you eat ice cream every single night. Come on. There is a way. <laughs> Look at the size of this man, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> how, oh, yeah. how? How? Uh, you know what? For me, it's a, it's a calorie thing. Um, so I, uh, I started using, um, I don't know if you're familiar with like Avatar Nutrition. I, uh, I know, like I, I track my calories on my fitness pal. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same thing, but uh, and it's got a coach on there that pretty much, uh, you know, based off your results each week, they'll they'll adjust and everything. And and at, at like at one point, I was at uh, five thousand calories, and I was at six hundred grams of carbs per day. Wow. Yeah. So so uh, towards the end of the day, when I'm like looking at my numbers, I'm like so behind on carbs. I'm like, all right, what do I got to do? So I would always eat like a pint of ice cream. I would even do like a, uh, my favorite cookies are the EL fudge cookies. Mm. And I would just eat a package of those. And I mean, I still do. Um, I don't do it as like, I'm not up to 5,000 calories now because I kind of hated like, like, even though it would help me keep on size, I just didn't like the bloat feeling of like, yeah. kind of just feeling heavy all the time. So I kind of eased back a little. Um, but I got a crazy sweet tooth now <laughs> and then, um, and like bowls of cereal, like I'll, I'll just pound like bowls and bowls of cereal at night to the point where, and then like, I can't even go over my fats, uh, as much. So I'll end up just doing like bowls of cereal with water or a protein shake in there or something. So I, yeah. I don't want to get too deep into the weeds here for people who maybe don't track their macros, but like what's <laughs> your breakdown of protein and carbs and, um, and fats. So the fats were like, oh, I'm trying to think offhand because um, I stopped following the, the coaching or whatever. And I just kind of was like, all right, I'm just going to do my own thing now. The fats were up to, I want to say like around like 130 or so. And then the carbs were like 600 and the protein was, uh, it was like 200 or above. Okay. The protein, wow. it was like, yeah, as long as I'm getting in like 200 and then if I need, if I go over with that, like that's okay for me. So just like giant mixing bowls full of oatmeal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All Jeez, that stuff. That's oatmeal, great. cereal, and yeah, all that stuff. So how many calories are you at now? Um, so I'd say I sit around like between thirty-five to four thousand. Still a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's still a lot. Yeah, you don't so factor in like when you're eating that much ice cream, you don't factor in the sugar. Um, no, I mean the sugar. I want the sugar. I'm, I'm looking for the insulin spike and everything like that's so so my body is very uh you know i've always been lean so if i actually eat too low of calories like the next day my muscles like completely deflated mm. um and, you know obviously it's a that's a lot of it sometimes is a mental thing you know i you always you're always your biggest judge or whatever but uh, your biggest critic but uh yeah i'll just um like I, I, I just, at the end of the day, if I feel like I didn't eat a lot, I'm like, oh man. So I'll just like stay up late at night, just like watch wrestling and just eat, 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 eat so that I feel good the next day. I had a friend of mine when he was bulking and, and you tell me if this is great or absolutely terrible advice. He would, I love that you're drinking uh, water in the middle of this too. That, yeah. That's a true bodybuilder right there. <laughs> <laughs> he would set his alarm and wake up twice in the middle of the night so that he would get more uh, calories in. Yep. Yeah. When I was, so when I was, uh, putting on size for like, cause like when I first started wrestling, I was like 120 pounds soaking wet. Wow. Um, you know, and, and, and I wasn't going to get, I wasn't going to get bigger over time through, you know, I, my, I think my body was done, you know, in height, I was always going to stay as short as I am. So I was like, all right, I need to get bigger if I'm going to look believable on TV, whatever it is. So uh, I just started following like tons of bodybuilders that um, had stories like that, where they needed to put on size. And a lot of them was just, it was just eat, eat, eat. Don't even think about what you're eating. Just eat. Like I would do, um, I would, after a session at the gym, shoot over to McDonald's and I do like a double quarter pounder, you know, 10 piece nugget and a fish fillet sandwich and a triple <laughs> thick shake or something, you know? And then uh, same thing as, as your friend, I would uh, at night, I would make a stack of like three peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then I would set an alarm for every like two to three hours. And I would just wake up, pound a sandwich and then just fall back asleep. Like I'd wake up every morning with just like disgusting peanut butter breath and crumbs all over me. It just seems so <laughs> counterintuitive because sleep is such an important part of growing as well. I know, I know. But it was like, it's like, yeah, that's the one thing. That's probably if, if there's anything in, in health wise, like sleep is the one thing I just don't get. 
Like, I, I, you know, it should be the eight hours or whatever, but it just doesn't happen. Like I'm a night owl. I'll be up all night. And then I wake up early now with kids and everything. So yeah, I just, that's the one thing I never get is sleep. And I don't know, it's never, it hasn't bothered me too much. So yeah, I have a friend who is an IFBB pro and he's, he's a big dude, obviously. Yeah. And someone was like, Hey man, I've really been trying to put on size. Is there any advice you could give me to put on size? And he just wrote back eat. Yeah, that was it. Just eat. <laughs> It's simple. And it, yeah, a lot of people complicate it. Uh, you know, obviously your body type is going to be a different thing, but if you're trying to put on size, like most 99% of the time, that's the, that's what you need to do. Hey, it's Chris. And thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV clips. As the name suggests, it's a place where I'm going to post clips from some of my favorite interviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out these videos right here. YouTube thinks you might like them.